for those of you listening, mostly uh, my my U.S. folks, um, SAS is a show, and this show is incredible. It emulates uh, lightly the SAS SBS selection process. And for those of you catching up, SAS SBS is you know the tier one forces uh, in England. And those guys go through a similar selection as any of us Navy SEALs or any other special operation guys here in the United States. And the show does this great job um, really putting the, the, the recruits through 14 days of kind of the sort of type of atmosphere that any regular Joe that signs up for the military and wants to be special they have to go through this this selection process and so the the uk one correct me ollie if if i'm incorrect was really a, you you guys took on the average joe whereas in australia it's celebrities right yeah we did i mean the uk one was first targeted at first of all it was just men so you know it was, it was true authenticity of the selection process in the uk so yeah. which at that time was only open to men um and then we sort of evolved into opening that up to uh, both genders um and and then we sort of evolved into the celebrity version of the show um obviously sas australia we you know we have done a a non-celebrity version, but the main sort of primary um, uh, show is really about celebrities. And I do have to say that I love the celebrity one more than I do the non-celebrity. And the reason for that is because it absolutely shows and typifies the process and how it works on special forces selection. And that is for the viewer looking in, all these celebrities, we have a perception Everyone has a perception of who this person is. The media creates a perception of that person. So we then build how we perceive this per each individual celebrity. But then it shows how the process absolutely works because all the way through that process, it delivers a totally different person at the back end. Yeah, it does. And that is absolutely what happens on selection. Right. You know, people get such a, a, an internal view of who they really are. The ego's wiped out the way. You know, they're put into a, um, a, a put into a sort of theatre where they feel where they feel vulnerable. So their thoughts, feelings, actions, and reactions become organic and raw. They don't get to design the perfect outcome, which, especially as a celebrity, they're always designing a perfect outcome to make them look good. Mm -hmm. So it shows that process working, and I can really relate to that. And I'm sure you can, Clint, on yeah, selection. Yeah you are a different person by the time you come out the back end no doubt about it i think you just hit like all those important features of a selection mm -hmm. and and no doubt like those those recruits those celebrities um and you yeah you nailed it they're used to, to a scripted life and when they show yeah. up to sas it is completely unscripted there is mm -hmm. uh, it's the four of us and the you know 20 or 17 or whatever the number is of them we're mm. all living together it's real you don't even really yeah. see cameramen or audio folks no one's saying cut repeat that line please you know it is just raw and real and that was the big surprise for me you know within 24 hours i was like holy shit we're it's really the four of us actually running all this crap <laughs> like yeah, that, was, yeah. that was the impressive and actually the coolest part of the deal was yeah knowing that and and being a part of it and it was just and i mean fuck man we had so much fun just yeah just uh getting through each of those days those long days didn't even seem long at all you know, no. uh, hanging out with you and Aunt and Dean. I mean, it was just a, an awesome experience. Hey, pull over on the shoulder. Let's see why. Pull mm. over as in make your way to a hotel or a gas station. Pulling into a median is dangerous uh, because your car could get permanently stuck for the night. Um, mm. In this scenario, conditions are too bad to make it to the gas station or anywhere but the side of the road. So you safely pull over to the shoulder of the road. Do you A, stay in the car or B, set up flares? Flares as in, do you want 
people yeah so you can be seen obviously because it's white out yeah, condition yeah. well yeah. Not, not like a pair of trousers or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's another word i see that's why i always do this flares or trousers is that another word for pants flares yeah flares yeah flares <laughs> <laughs> see, I learned flares. Some, you guys have all these fucking words i think what the brits did when they came to america is they dumbed english down a bit because i don't yeah. know any of the brit words it's so funny yeah probably a good thing um i would, I would stay in the up to a certain point and i would stay in the car to see how conditions fare yeah that's it mm -hmm. um let's see here let's make sure stay in the car no set up flares so people can see you it's whiteout conditions we were both wrong yeah um yeah you want to be visible so that another car doesn't run into you mm -hmm. you're trying to basically broadcast hey i'm here i'm on the side of the road stranded so you you have those flares or you know those light up you call torch those torches yeah you know, that that you throw on the ground and it makes a big red you know uh, yeah, flame yeah, yeah. and they burn really slow those those things not pants <laughs> yeah you're listening to can you survive this podcast thanks for tuning in please make sure to subscribe rate and share on the iHeartRadio app Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows.